Hey, it's Aurelius, welcome back to the channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to make videos quickly and easily using Canva. And the best part is you don't need to know how to edit videos and what Canva can do is based on a simple text prompt. So I'll show you a couple of examples right here. This one's on AI, so we'll click on play, play a few seconds of this. Here's another one based on facts about the Golden Gate Bridge. And then with these videos, you can simply post it on YouTube Shorts, TikTok, or Instagram Reels to gain more followers and never run out of content ever again. So let's get to the video and I'll show you exactly how to make your own videos just like these. All right, so Canva released a beta version of what they call Magic Design for Video. All you need to do is select any of the videos and photos that you want included in your video, enter a text prompt such as a video on facts about the Golden Gate Bridge and click on generate. And as you saw in the intro, that's the kind of video that Canva can generate for you. All you really need is a Canva account and you don't need a paid account to be specific, but I'll share more about the limitations at the current time of this recording later on. But once you're inside, click on create a design and then we wanna choose mobile video if you do want to post as a short or a portrait video. You can, however, post landscape videos, so 1920 by 1080 or a 4K video if you wish to do so. But in this example, I'm just gonna run through the steps on how you can create shorts with it. So we'll click on mobile video. All right, great. Now if you've got your blank canvas open. What do you do now? All you need to do is hit the right button right here. This is the magic button. Click that and then you'll see magic design for video. If you do not see it at the time's recording, all you need to do is search for magic design for uh, video. All right, so it'll pop up. Click that once this prompt will appear and all you need to do is select the videos and as mentioned photos if you wish to add them to the selection so i'll click those and these are the six videos i want to add bear in mind you do need to add at least three assets to make a video uh, and then describe the kind of video you want and the more detailed you are just like most generative AI tools, the better the result. So in this example, I've just entered a video about how the Golden Gate Bridge was built. And let's say I wanna post this as a YouTube short and share some facts and figures, right? To make things a bit entertaining and educational at the same time, that's the kind of output that I want. Of course, based on your niche, feel free to add whatever you want and the AI will do the rest for you. Once you've entered the prompt, once you've selected your video assets, click on generate. And in just a matter of seconds, your video is done, just like this one right here. But before I continue any further, I wanna share a little secret tool with you. It's called TubeMagic, the amazing sponsor of this video. TubeMagic is a powerful tool specifically designed for YouTube creators. It helps you find the best keywords by sorting them based on search volume, competition, and a thing called magic score, making it easier for you to find the exact videos to create. But that's just the beginning. TubeMagic can also generate AI-powered video ideas tailored to any channel, help you write scripts and outlines, and even optimize your videos instantly. All you need to do is upload an unlisted video link and TubeMagic will create a perfectly crafted title, description and tags for you. This tool was created by YouTuber Matt Parr who runs the Make Money Matt channel. With over 12 channels under his belt and a YouTube journey that started when he was just 14, Matt knows what he's doing. And guess what? Many top YouTubers are already using TubeMagic to level up their content. Get started today by clicking the link in the description. A huge thanks to TubeMagic for sponsoring this video. All right, so back to the video. What I'm going to do is play this video so you can see what it has generated minus the music track because I'm just trying to avoid any potential copyright claims, but I'll share more about that limitation later on. Let's go ahead, we'll delete that. I'll play it from the start right here, click play. All right, so that's the result. And I didn't touch a single thing other than entering the text prompt and adding the video assets. 
But apart from that, what we can do now is improve this. We can make some customizations, which you may or may not wanna do. But let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so the first and most obvious thing that you can do is change the text and anything in terms of the content. So right here, if you do wanna edit it, just like anything in Canva, whatever you're designing, you simply click it and you can delete, add anything you want to it. We can also change the effects to a different style and color of the background. We can then move on to other parts of the video, changing whatever we want. Had we provided the AI with additional or more video assets or photos, we would have gotten probably more content out of it. As you saw, there may have been like three facts about it and that's it, it ends right there. But if we added more assets, it would have increased the length of the video. This right here is only 12 seconds. We could potentially increase it to 30 seconds by simply uh, adding more assets. But for now, you know, I'm just doing this as a hypothetical uh, example in this tutorial. Furthermore, in terms of the video, what you can do is increase the length of each uh, segment. So for instance, this definitely wasn't perfect in terms of the length. You're only given two seconds to read this, which is very fast. So rather than two seconds, we can increase this dependent on the video that you added. All right, so we've got three seconds here and you can increase any of the other parts as well. Just time it if you play it, try to read it out yourself to see if you can read it based on the timing. Now, in terms of video assets, I simply download it from a website called Artlist. You can search for whatever you want and download them and freely use them on places like YouTube without getting any content claims. But Artlist is a paid uh, subscription. However, if you're looking for a free alternative, look at Pixels, which really is owned by Canva anyway. But back to this, you can also look into the transitions in between each of the clips by clicking right here. And clicking that once will bring up the transitions window. We can go and do a slide effect. We can do a line swipe, stack, chop, match and move. So go ahead, play around with the transitions if you wish to do so. Another thing I wanna highlight is the music track that's added. Now I'm not gonna play this once again, but if you click once on the audio track, we can click on the quick actions button. And then there's a thing called beat sync, which will do a little bit of magic with syncing. So it'll match the elements and the pages automatically based on the music. So if we click that once, you can see the beat markers. So I'm gonna disable, enable them, see where the beat markers are. That's when let's say uh, part of the uh, text or element is appearing based on the beats and the transitions, things like that. So that's pretty useful if you do want to utilize something like this to make your video more engaging. But once you're happy with the video that you've created, all you need to do is click on share and then we're gonna click on download. From there, make sure MP4 video is selected and we can click on download. And then once that file's ready, all you need to do is upload it to whichever social media platform you'd like to upload it to. Now, in terms of limitations, Magic Design with video is in beta mode and that is based on the timing of this video. So you can create videos based on any dimension, as long as it's not too small, as mentioned here. You don't need a Canva Pro account to use this feature. However, if you are using the Magic Design with video uh, tool, it will generate and find maybe some elements that are pro uh, for pro customers only, but all you need to do and the workaround to it is to simply delete those pro elements and then replace it with a free version of it. And from there, you can download it without any watermarks and no issues there. And in terms of copyright claims, and if you're worried about the music tracks that it selects, it does say when publishing the video to YouTube, make sure you're logged in to the account that's linked to Canva to avoid content claims. And finally, as mentioned earlier, because it is a generative AI tool, the more context and instruction you can give the AI, the better the result. So that's what I would aim for if you do want a better result in terms of your video. Apart from that, that is Canva's magic design with video. And there's really not much more for me to add to it because it's so simple to use. And this is a great way for you to start creating content if you're challenged with the editing process and choosing you know, what content to add and what you know actual text to put on. 
So go ahead, give Magic Design with Video a try. Link to Canva will be in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and do take care. I'll see you in the next one.